greetings and salutations. This is the voice of Loquacious of Heard, bringing you his afterthoughts on My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 5, Episode 21, titled Scare Master. I heartily suggest you find and watch the episode itself, sans commentary, before proceeding with either this afterthoughts review or viewing my full reaction, which is hosted at the link in the description. Be warned, this afterthoughts review will contain spoilers for the episode. With that out of the way, a note before we move on to the review itself. This spoken heard review will be relatively brief, as there was a more extensive written heard segment produced for this episode. That written heard segment is available in Google Drive under details in the blind reactions description. This episode served to remind me that, while this is a show where there are sometimes overarching season, or multi-season, long plot and story arcs, when it comes to the day-to-day -day or slice-of-life episodes, it can sometimes be awfully hard to pinpoint where, on a strictly chronological timeline, individual episodes fall. A Nightmare Night episode immediately following a hearth-swarming episode? How odd! My general take on matters is that I'm assuming each season's episodes usually occur more or less after the prior season's episodes. So in effect, everything that we saw in Season 4 occurred before anything we see happen in Season 5. But episodes within a particular season, like last episode and this episode, may not be presented to us in strictly chronological order. In taking this view, I generally suspect that seasons 1 through 3 constitute one full year in Equestria, from season 1 episode 1 taking place on the eve of the Summer Sun celebration, leading into season 4 episode 1 also taking place on the eve of the Summer Sun celebration in the following year. As for the episode itself, given enough time, any show will begin to repeat itself. Certain themes and stories may be brought up again or be explored. As long as there is more to be learned, new or different lessons, then generally speaking I'm fine with revisiting some old ground. So Fluttershy is being a scaredy pony. Her friends wish to help her deal with her fears and come out of her comfort zone. And Fluttershy agrees to try embracing the spirit of Nightmare Night. This could have played itself out in ways the show has explored before, and I feel may have explored better elsewhere. Don't knock it until you've tried it is a subset of the whole don't judge a book by its cover deal, after all. But this episode takes this a step further, and in a different and unexpected direction. The story that unfolds isn't about Fluttershy overcoming a groundless fear and her own prejudices about Nightmare Night while learning to love and appreciate a new activity, a storyline that could have been lifted straight out of Read It and Weep, no, after some truly heartwarming looks at how Fluttershy's friends strive to include her, and Fluttershy's own desperate attempts not to drag their enjoyment of the night down, Fluttershy fully embraces her inner understanding of the workings of fear to produce a truly masterful bit of blood-curdling horror for her friends. And her friends are delighted. Ah, but Fluttershy isn't. There's another, sometimes overlooked, caveat that goes along with the whole don't knock it until you've tried it thing. Sometimes you try something, but still don't like it. And once a preference, like Fluttershy's, preference for avoiding Nightmare Night entirely, is no longer uninformed and reactionary, but informed and chosen, it's perfectly okay to bow out of an activity that you'd prefer not to be involved with. Just because you're good at something doesn't mean you have to do it especially if you don't like it. In short, it's fine to say no. And the episode draws to a close with Fluttershy's boundaries explored and, in this case, strengthened. I like how, at the end, Fluttershy, having explored her own fears, could join in with Nightmare Night should she want to. She just doesn't want to. And every pony is fine with that. Kudos to the show for exploring what could have been a somewhat repetitive theme in this new and interesting way. If you wish to see my full reaction to My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 5, Episode 21, titled Scare Master, the link, as I mentioned earlier, is in the description. Feel free to leave any comments or likes for that reaction here on this Afterthought review. In addition, the full text of the original written heard segment for my blind reaction to Scare Master is available in Google Drive under details in the video's description. And until next time, as always, kindly remember, y'all are awesome. Stay awesome.